It's been so long since I put this one together and posted it that I don't remember what's in it anymore. That's the best way to go for it, so uh, <laughs> let's give it a try. Wow, just as I'd expect of the prestigious Pigeon School, there's so many oddball things gathered here. Woohoo! <laughs> They're even selling these kinds of adult goods. Oh my. <laughs> adult goods? Are we going to oh, have to racy. censor the rest of this broadcast? It's a Yu Yu chapter, what do you expect? <laughs> Man, this... my school never sold adult goods in the, in the store, but maybe that's for the best. Yeah, yeah. somebody yeah. asked earlier if I'd uh, put any more down Yu Yu caliber content in here. I answered, maybe a little. I think I might have underestimated it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is such a lovely little diagram here. A nest is, just like its name suggests, a place for birds to lay and incubate their eggs, without having to go to the trouble of binding all those sticks together with their spit first. It's 50 cents, <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> for, yeah, yeah, but like that for man who couldn't dollars, multiply. Yeah. Uh, five to five dollars. It's like yeah. five dollars. <laughs> but yeah. As at, at, at your school, the students hadn't all been of sexual maturity for 15 years or so. <laughs> true, true. Salut, Teo. <gasps> Yuya! So, you're interested in things like that? My, my, how adult of you. <laughs> What do you say we take this somewhere cozy and make a nest of love between us? <laughs> uh, by the way, just to point out, I hope nobody minds that his uh, tie is uncensored now. <laughs> I, I, I think that's quite appropriate. You're such a play birdie. I may have to start calling you Sexy Zaki, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, is this your dialogue, Zach, or was this from the comic? Slight modification, but... Whoa! Yeah. Student Council Presidential Correction Kick! <laughs> <laughs> Critical hit! <laughs> Take it away! <laughs> Sakuya, what are, what are you doing? It's basic enforcement, Kalante. I will not have this charlatan laying a finger on my subordinate. Sakuya? It's not like Teo's only on the student council. To me, the health committee chairman, she's also my extremely alluring underclassman. <laughs> That's right, Sakuya. I'm also on the health committee, after all. What? Just how many other organizations are you part of, Kalante? Jeez, Sakuya, we already went over this back in Chapter 2, remember? Ah, good afternoon, Sakazaki. Salut, Rayuda. Yuya, what's the salut you're always saying? I just put an A in there to make it more polite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been wondering about that too, actually. Well, if you must know, it's a magical spell for all my beloved ladies throughout the world that stars of fortune may shine upon your lives. So, why did he say it to me then? <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> Correction kick! Adieu! For the viewer, actually, it's just a French greeting. You know, like French Honestly. kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, going so far as to shame what is allegedly my homeland? <laughs> Don't get carried away, Sakazaki! Well, according to rumor, it seems he's actually pretty popular for such a flighty guy. They're birds, they're all flighty. <laughs> <laughs> They say that every year on Legumen Times, he receives so many beans that his locker overflows and bursts. Dad reviewed it. Why on earth would such an uncouth and detestable louse like him be so popular? Wait. Isn't this academy an all boys school? <laughs> Ha 
Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Sakuya, even though you and Sakazaki are brothers, putting aside how you look, your personalities aren't at all alike. We've been over this. I'm the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, Kawara, he and I have different fathers. I'm of a pure-blooded noble lineage, unlike that mongrel. My god, that's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, even so, I thought you two would be somewhat alike, but it's like you're from different worlds. Of course! I will not accept a mongrel like him as my elder brother! Okay. Huh? Magnum! Oko-san will not forgive anyone who makes fun of mongrels! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sakuya! See you next week! <laughs> Remember this day well, Sakuya! You know, if you survive re-entry. <laughs> yes. I'm done cleaning, Dr. Iwamine. If you'll excuse me... Uh, just a moment, Mr. Sakazaki. I found something in my desk earlier this morning. I believe you left it here a long time ago. It's one of your organs. <laughs> Please, let me return it to you. Something I left? My apologies, Doctor. Uh, what is it? It's... <laughs> it's a wire tap. Dun-dun-dun! <laughs> uh, 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 wire tap? <laughs> uh, uh, that, uh, that can't be. It wasn't me. Surely it must have been the work of one of your many diehard fans. Uh, right, Doctor? Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> Aww. Pretty bird. Yeah, forget about that last scene. Yes. <laughs> Who reads this? Uh, can I take it? Yeah, go. Sure. For years, the Hawk Party and Dove Party have been engaged in a shadowy game of espionage, counterintelligence, and black ops. One of the most active hotbeds for this cloak and dagger war is that esteemed academy, Saint Pigeonations. While he maintains the guise of a student and health committee member in the public eyes, among other things, <laughs> Sakazaki Yuya's true form is that of the Dove Party's super agent. Oh wait, I shouldn't be. Is there music playing? I'm sorry. I'm uh, yes, actually on. there is. I, I, I keep forgetting that we just can't hear the music. Yeah, sorry we've got some that. secret agent music going on here. Wonderful. His current assignment is an undercover infiltration of the school in order to keep an eye on the movements of Iwamine Shu, a covert Hawk Party executive. <laughs> Who hasn't been doing very well with the covert part recently. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> After months of dead ends and false leads, a window of opportunity has finally opened. Will the sexy and suave secret agent finally break the case? Before one of his classmates breaks the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll return from my business trip tomorrow afternoon. I leave everything in your hands, Mr. Sakazaki. Of course, Doctor. Leave everything to me. Yes, I've shown you the ropes and the rest of the torture equipment to do for the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like he's gone. Now, let's see here. Torture equipment. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
I'll, I'll have to add some of these to my Christmas wish list. Uh, damn, he's covering his tracks rather well. There's no kinds of secret documents or anything in any of these files. Window break. Shit. <laughs> okay. Shit, did he have backup operatives in place? <laughs> okay, great. Apostle of the Violet Rose! The Dark Sorcerer has departed. Hurry, while we have this chance, bestow upon me the Divine Healing! Uh, 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 Angel, why are you covered in blood? N no, wait, let me guess. You jumped through a window pane again, didn't you? <laughs> you get leveled up! Grasp of the obvious increased by five! Uh, 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 who, this sorry, is me. Who is this? Okay, sorry. Uh, excuse me. Can I get some of the usual stomach medicine, please? Speaking of things that are depressing in hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a moment, Ryuda. <laughs> it got stuck while I was running on the ground! What got stuck? <laughs> There's your answer! <laughs> What's happening? Uh, what he that? talked into a statue and... <laughs> kind of embedded his face in it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Why do these things always happen when the doctor's away? Self-preservation, mostly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, everyone, j just hang on for a second. Let's see. Uh, Band-aids, stomach medicine, uh, jackhammer... <laughs> Uh, and, uh, excuse me, uh, since I got rather sleepy all of a sudden, I was wondering if you wouldn't let me take a nap on one of the beds here. Uh, professor, how many times do we have to tell you this is an infirmary, not a hotel? <laughs> oh, but these beds are so... Uh, comfort... <laughs> Just a moment! I was scratched by the barbed wire about- Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was scratched by the barbed- ah! <laughs> I'm hurt! <laughs> this is unacceptable! Oh, for God's sake, can't you see I have my hands full with the students right now? <laughs> What a hectic day this has turned out to be. I wonder if I can leave the rest of the investigation until tomorrow. W wait. Wasn't there a trespasser in the confusion a while ago? <laughs> <laughs> you get leveled off grasp of the obvious increased by five. Oh, text window, why must you be so cruel to me? <laughs> I'd actually forgotten about that part. <laughs> Bird history! Oh no. <laughs> Professor Naki! Ah! Sir, you can't doze off during the lesson segment! Wake up! Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> In which we discover he does have no legs. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up like a quail. Uh, oh, that was uh, the idea. <laughs> sorry about that. I, I don't normally get this sleepy during history class. It's okay, the rest of us do. <laughs> <laughs> you're practically asleep more than you're awake, you buffoon. You're just like this in math class too, Professor. Ah, uh, well... Anyway, welcome back to bird history. Today's topic is the Bird Extermination Project, Operation Carniades. The birds living at that period in time had become strong carriers of the H5N1 Sumatra influenza virus, which had driven humanity to the brink of extinction. 
Since they could not develop a cure for the disease, the humans opted to eliminate the carriers of the disease. In other words, to destroy all the birds of the world. While the ethical qualities of fighting fire with fire in this manner were highly contested, the leaders of the remaining human civilizations of the time agreed that it was their only recourse. As such, humanity artificially developed a powerful, highly lethal virus that had been bioengineered only to affect us. Using what remained of their military technology, the virus was spread all across the globe. The virus was spread all across the globe. <laughs> Within a week of the operation's launch, over 90% of the birds of the world were exposed and infected with this terrible bioweapon. My, this lesson certainly has gotten rather grim, hasn't it? <laughs> Not terribly surprising. Yeah, c c compared to the rest of the storyline, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all for today, everybody. Next time we'll be covering 1939 to 1945. <laughs> uh, next time we'll go over what happened as a result of Operation Carniades. It we just wanted to end this on a high note, is all. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to go over the lecture notes, as this will be included on the final. Class dismissed.